All right. So, after a bit of a delay, we are finally ready to get started here in the David McMullen Gymnasium. We appreciate your parents, we, your patience rather. We have a referee for this league game between the Graham and Ann Breakers and the Harvey Lakers. Laker receiving first and there's a misfire. So Graham and Ann will score first. Do set serving. First set is, or first serve rather, is good. That will be a point going breaker side. Next serves up. And Big attempt there by Snow, but no good. No, no. And now these two teams, they definitely haven't played in the regular season yet. Not sure if they've met in exhibition or tournament play, but they are still going to have to figure out kind of how to adjust to these serves. And that one goes right through Bernard and Snow. Not first, a great start for the Lakers. First ace we're going to see here. Do set up the serve once again. Good, received by Cadence. And a tip attempt by Fraser Cole, but no good. Yeah, Lakers having a tough time getting started. Now, they did start warming up for a 4-3 game, so you imagine the teams are going to get cold. We'll see how they recover, though. Couple hits on it there, but it will go out of bounds by the Lakers. Do set it up. Once again, up serve. Lakers finally on the board now, though. Haven't really earned it, as uh, that is a faulty serve. Let's see if Lauren Peasy, grade 12 student, she's a strong server. Let's see if, see if she can get her team back into this. Unfortunate for the Lakers. They will not have a serving streak that we saw from Doucette there. Easy will swap out. Let the Libero Cadence McMillan, grade 9 student in that black jersey, get on board. And Riley to Merchant going to get the first real point for the Lakers there. Yeah, always nice to earn it. So service comes back now. Maddie Fraser Cole, another strong server for the Lakers. Coach Messer definitely has her strongest serving lineup to start things off. A little bit of a scramble for the Breakers, but nothing. It's strong enough to bring it over the net, and it'll be Maddie Fraser Cole up to serve once again. It's over. It's up. Know, there's another strong serve from Fraser Cole, so even though the Lakers spotted the breakers, that big early lead, they can start to get back into this. Fraser Cole, serve will make it over. It's received by Doucette. It's set up by Miller, and it's hit over. Nice dig by Cadence there, and a couple of hits there, and Demerchant bring it over. Cadence on the receive off that. Frazier Cole to set here, looking for the hit. And Demerchant will find it, but it will also find the net on her way down. And that will go, Breakers. Yeah, tough break for Demerchant there, looking to send that ball over. Lakers, this is their first home game of the season, believe it or not. Uh, so they're still kind of finding their place. Budgel's serve will be... Successful there. Cadence will receive, but no one to get the second hit there. And Chloe Budgel's up to serve once again. It's over. Received by Snow. Fraser Cole to set. And Demerchant to come in with that hit. They will be received. They got one more hit here, and they won't be able to capitalize on it. Lakers getting the point now. Yeah, putting that really tough spot right at the front of the net there where it's hard for uh, defensive players to be able to hit it without sliding under. Another miss serve there by DeMerchant. Yeah, apart from Fraser Cole, Lakers service game just really isn't there. As we mentioned, the warm-up was disrupted a bit, so we'll see maybe in the second set if they found their rhythm a bit more. Griffin up to serve here for the Breakers. That will be a nice serve. It's over. Cadence will fall for it. Fraser Cole going to keep that one alive, and Cadence going to try to volley it over. It will go over, but two hits. Or two, um, the double hit there, and that's a tough break because that was a really good dig. By uh, Cadence McMillan, and then also for Maddie Fraser Cole playing it right near the net. That was a tough ball to play, but she did get it back and make it playable for her team. Just a bit of a mental mistake as McMillan kind of hit those two balls at uh, different times there. Timeout called by Coach Tracy Messer of the Lakers. Her and assistant coach Tammy DeMerchant will go over some tactic changes. Rough. Starters starting there for the Lakers. Not being able to make those serves is really detrimental, especially after Doucette had that nice serving um, 
Spree on the start there, giving the Breakers a little bit of a lead. But I don't mm -hmm. think the Lakers are that worried as long as they can make sure that they get their serving right here. And especially those receives on the serves we've been seeing, especially from number 12, once again, Doucette. We're making sure aces aren't happening, making sure no matter what's a ball, it's getting received by someone. And it's really been the liberal ca the <laughs> Cadence the... Cadence McMillan the Libero. <laughs> Libero, yeah. there we go. Or Libero, I've heard as well. Now we got the pronunciation mm -hmm. right. Who's getting most of those receives, which is good to see as she's meant to be the receiver there. But yeah. having someone ready to get those second second hits has been where they've been struggling. Mm -hmm. For a grade nine player especially, it's nice to come in with confidence. That's a tough position to be in. You're the primary ball receiver in that back row when you're wearing that Libero jersey. Once again, she will receive. It'll be right over. Sent quickly back over, and Bernard will see an opportunity, and she'll strike. Nice work by Bernard, one of the Lakers' tallest players, showing some offense there as well as the defense she can provide as McMillan swaps out and Lauren Peasy will come back in in the front row to provide some, de uh, some defense. Nestrick's serve will be out of bounds. Will be um, Miller. Looks like Coach Messer's basically going to keep Cadence McMillan out there as long as possible. It's over, served by Peasy Snow. Peasy to bring it over, and it's over. Quick bump, but no good. Carry on the ball. Yeah, that was a low ball to play. It was good on the Grand Manam player for even getting hands on it, but Peasy's got a very powerful hit, so those can be tough to field. Snow serve is over. Received by Doucette. Moving in position there. Miller, that's going to be brought over. Cadence on the receive. Frazier Cole to set. Bernard to hit it. But I think her feet would have... I'm not sure what that call is. I think it's a net touch, I believe. Uh, referee Alberio kind of moving the hand towards the net and then back out to the Lakers side. I'm going to say that was a net touch on Georgia. Went up with a little too much energy there. Cook with the serve bringing it over. Fisher Cole with the set. Peasy going to bring it over. There's Cook on the receive. It's brought up by Miller. set to bring it over. Received by Bernard. There's a set by Fisher Cole and Bernard to bring it, o bring it over. And the result... And a faulty receive giving the Lakers another point. The well, Lakers trail by six now, so as we kind of near that midway point of the first set. Not out of it, and sorry, check that. They trail by four only. And now it's down to three. Bernard with a successful serve here. See if she has any more of those. Making up for those faulty serves earlier. This one's out of bounds, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Had some good strength on it, just uh, fell outside those red lines, unfortunately. And now we're all the way back around the service order. It is Brianna Doucette wearing number 12 for the Grand Manan squad. Close call there, but the Lakers made it right. It will be out of bounds, just barely. And that's unfortunate, but will end up happening. And we should see... Peasy up to serve here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. A little bit of confusion there as Libero swapping out. You got to make sure you're in the right area in the rotation, but it's a Leah Nestruck back to the front row. Peasy's first serve was no good. We'll see what this one has to offer, and that one's clearing for days, and it will result in a point. Only the receive being able to, breakers are being, or only able to do the receive. No follow ups there. Peasy will have another chance here on service. On service. That one's over, and an ace. Oh. Nice ace by, uh, I believe, their captain, number eight, Lauren Peasy. So you mentioned grade 12 student. One of three grade 12s on this squad. Lakers a fairly veteran squad, mostly grade 10s and, or sorry, 12s and 11s, with the one aforementioned grade nine being the liberal Cadence McMillan. And once again, another good serve there. And after that big deficit, Lakers have tied things up. Chance to take the lead now for the first time this afternoon. Ball's up and it's going to be over. We quickly brought over. Demerchin there on the receive and the hit. And the point will be under her name. Nice set there by Maddie Frazier. Cool to make it all happen. And that will be Lakers taking the lead. Great hit there from Riley Demerchin. Breakers got some hands on it, but just couldn't corral it. It's over. Nice received by Doucette. It's up. Frazier Cole here's bump. We'll just bring it straight over. Received by Budgel. 
And the attempt there by Griffin is no good, and it will be Lakers' ball once again. Nice scramble by the Lakers to keep that initial play alive, and now we're seeing the kind of service run that the Lakers were on the receiving end of with Doucette to start the game. Lauren Peasy kind of winning each one of those points back and more. And out of bounds off of the hit from Cook. Peasy will serve once again here. It's over and good. And there's Cook on the receive. It's brought up by Miller. And a bump from Cook will be no good. <laughs> Came nicely to referee Alberio, but unfortunately he's, uh, I guess he is actually wearing the same colors as the Breakers in the dark blue and white, but not an eligible receiver. So <laughs> that'll be no good. And now with a four-point lead, the tables have really turned. As Lakers on, I believe, at least an 8-0 run right now. Coaches uh, Ashlyn Parker and Abby Toll of the Grim and Ann Breakers definitely going to call a timeout here. Should take a moment to shout out our sponsors as well. Big thanks to Scott Pierce at Remax East Coast Elite Realty and the Little Vacation Resort for Dogs. Our sponsors help us to improve the viewing experience and get more students involved in the streams. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor, please don't hesitate to reach out. My contact information is in the video description. We should say it's never too late to be a sponsor. I think we've got another one coming on board very soon now. We're looking forward to adding another name to that list. And, uh, yeah, we get your logo up in the corner. We give you some shout-outs other perks as well. It's always great to uh, support extracurricular activities here at the school. The Lakers are ready. Let's see what they have to respond to whatever the Breakers were able to cook up during the time out there. It will be Peasy once again serving. It's over. Receiving the back rank and they're going to have to run for it and it will be no good. Lakers will get the point out of the timeout. That's always good. Yeah. Yeah, you always want to be the first one. Regardless of who calls it, it always feels good to score first coming out of that timeout. PZ up to serve once again. It will be cleared. That one's up in the air. And once again, going to that close side of the court for us and just dying once it gets over there. The fear of running into the bleachers <laughs> definitely comes in and uh, makes it kind of hard to receive that. Yep. Yeah, there are some hazards down there. He can't just keep running for days. That yeah, serve once again is good. Cook will bring this one over. P's going to move forward to receive. Frazier call on the set. And that's a hit brought over by Aaliyah. And that will be a point for the Lakers, keeping this streak up. Really nice placement cross court by number seven, Aaliyah Nestruck. She's another one of those grade 12 students on this squad. Showing some veteran savvy there with that angle. That serve is over. Only a measly hit by Budgel. And it will be Lakers once again up for serving. Huge run here as the Lakers have now opened up an eight-point lead as they're rounding closer and closer to that 25-point mark. Very deadly serve. That one will be over after two hits. Fisher Cole on the set here and a hit for DeMerchant. All the way to the back rank. Nice receive to bring it straight away. Aaliyah with a bump. Brought over. And luckily for the Breakers, that will be a point going your way. Yeah, tough break for DeMerchant. Kind of leaned out and almost, well, she did make contact with the ball, but just didn't quite get there in time. Propelled it forward. She by Snow. Fraser Cole there. There's DeMerchant bring it over. Nice receive by Doucette. Tipped over by Budgel. But a call going Lakers side there. It's a net touch, I believe, by the uh, by the Breakers. But that was another great dig by Keynes McMillan. She's had a few of them already this game from the Libero position. It's going to be brought over by DeMerchant. See from the back rank by Cook. It's up by Miller. Hit over. Griffin. Frazier Cole now on the receive. Brought over by Bernard. Received by Griffin. Set by Miller. One more hit here with Budgel. And that's going to be a little off and going into the net, giving the Lakers a point. Yeah, really high set from the Breakers there, which uh, can be good, but can make it a little hard to time as well for your hitters because it's really all about predicting the flow of that ball. Beautiful serve from Fraser Cole, but the Breakers are ready to react. Budgel will bring it over. Received by Snow. There's Fraser Cole on the set. A little close, but De Merchant is able to adapt and get the receive. Fraser Cole to set here, and Nestruck 
Butter in the back. That's Cook moving quickly. Miller. Budgel bringing it over. Received. That's Demerchin. Frazier Cole in the set. And Demerchin's going to hit that, but it's a little. The set is a little off, and Demerchin's going to have to stop. And that will cost them the point. Yeah, yeah, the timing, not only to hit the ball, but also to come up and with the approach there. It really is delicate. So if the set doesn't go where you're expecting it, you can throw things off. And we've got set point now for the Lakers. Just a reminder with these league games, they are triple headers. So these teams will play only three sets maximum. First to two wins. So a win here is crucial. Griffin's going to bring that over. Received by Cadence. Fraser Cole. Now to Bernard. Bernard's going to bring that one over. It's up close, but they're going to be able to keep that one alive. The help of Miller and Griffin to bring it over. Fraser Cole. Gonna set there, brought over by Nestruck. Receiving the back rank by Libby. Hit over by Cook, and that will be a point going. The Breakers, beautiful hit there. Bit of communication breakdown there for the Lakers. Ball was playable, landed between a few players. Saw them kind of make eye contact before the ball came down. So, Graham and Ann, still a bit of life in them, but zero room for error. They trail 16 to 24. And an unfortunate way to end the set there with a faulty serve. Yeah, I never um, love seeing that when it's uh, you don't really earn the last point. It just kind of served up to you. But either way, the Lakers will take it. And so they win this first set by a score of 25 to 16. This puts them in the driver's seat to claim the victory here over Graham and Ann. But as we mentioned, it is a triple header. Make sure you stay tuned in. After this, Graham and Ann will play the visiting Sir James Dunn Academy Algonquins coming at us from St. Andrews as they'll play here in this kind of neutral site game that will still be a league game. And then following that, Graham and Ann will head back for try to catch the last ferry as the Lakers are going to take on Sir James Dunn Academy. So lots of volleyball let to, yet to play here in the David McMillan Gymnasium. So last time in the senior boys triple header, we saw some uh, usually, if it doesn't make it to the third set, they kind of just let it uh, not be played. But we saw a little bit of um, rec play on that third set. And I wonder, since that time disruption from the late referee, I wonder if we'll see that this time. I wonder, and uh, I, I was kind of joking when I said Graham and Ann tries to catch the last ferry, but that is a very realistic thing you got to think about. They might have to get out of here by a certain time. They were expecting to start at 5.30 and be on the road by 6.30. Um, if they play rec sets, that most certainly will not happen. We're nearing 5.30 now and haven't even started the second set, and they still have to play a minimum of two more against Sir James Dunn Academy. So my expectation is that we will not have any of those rec sets. But you never know. I've been wrong before. It's rare, but it does happen. Now, in between sets, you get a little bit of time. The talk and the Lakers taking the extra time, which is interesting after the win. Usually you're in the driver's seat, but still being cautious. Smart play mm -hmm. by Tracy and Tammy there. And I uh, should shout out our minor officials as well just before we get started. Big thanks to Hudson Mason running the in-house scoreboard and Carly Good keeping an eye on things on the scoring iPad. A couple of, so well, just one substitution, I guess. Alyssa Snow is out. Delaney McElwain is in. We did not see her hit, hit the court at all for a set, I don't think. No, we didn't. And uh, with these triple headers, teams really have to manage their bench pretty smartly. You see Graham and Ann, they've switched, swapped out a couple players, too. We've got Jerrica Swainson, who's uh, checked on, and I believe Nevea Cook is the other player that we didn't see too much of. She was on a lot last game. Okay, I no, I, uh, I stand corrected. Definitely in the second half, she was their number one receiver, I want to say, for one of those okay. Lakers serves. And Swainson. Back-to-back -back faulty serves for both teams here, and it will be Peasy up to serve now. Definitely giving the Breakers a run for their money last time. We'll see what she has this time. Yeah, had that great run. Surprised she's going back in so early. I must be getting tired. But we'll be able to bring that one over by Cook. There's McElwain in position. Fraser Cole on the set. Hit over by Nestruck, and that's all the way in a different area code out of bounds. <laughs> Yeah, she sent that one pretty far away. Smacking it down like it's a piece of overdue French homework. <laughs> uh, that's the dream. <laughs> Cook on the serve. It's good. We see by McElwain. Caden's going to oh. fall for that one. Hopefully she's okay, but won't be able to capitalize yeah. on it. She looks good, though, and that's what matters. A little bit of east-west movement there from McElwain and McMillan. Impressive that they got under it, but... Uh, Sending it a little bit in the wrong direction, unfortunately. Demerchin's going to bring that one over, and a nice kill. 
Great kill from DeMerchant, finding a hole in the breaker's defense, putting it kind of a little bit too far ahead of the back row for them to get there in time. And ace to follow up a kill is a deadly combo. Yeah, really nicely done. Fraser Cole had a bit of a run in the beginning of the first set as well. Once again, a good serve. They will be able to bring this one over, though. Received by DeMerchant, Fraser Cole, and then back to DeMerchant. DeMerchant with another kill. <laughs> Baker's really on a roll now. And a quick way to bring it over by Swanson and a mistimed jump by the merchant will result in the breakers getting. Yeah. Too bad. That was an absolute bullet Just coming over the net from Maddie Fraser Cole. I'd love to see a speed tracker on that ball. And Griffin here to serve, and it's not going to make it over. She just caught the top of the net there. I didn't think that arc was going to fall so quickly, but yeah, I just kind of mistimed it. Demersion up to serve. It will clear. It's good to go. Brought up by Miller and hit over. Plan for it. Bernard, nice hit, and a big attempt there by Cook is no good, and that will be the Lakers. Yeah, tough break for Graham and Ann trying to get under that, but again, coming up just a little too far back. Nice job there. If this was a middle school game, then it would have been any good. But mm -hmm. you can receive with a set, and that will be what happens, or with a volley, rather. But it will result eventually in a faulty way to bring it over, and it will be out of bounds. Lakers up to serve once again. Received by Griffin. Up by Miller. One more hit here, and it will be brought over by Urquhart. Received by McMullen. And McElwain's hit will eventually go over, making them all die for the ball. Nice. Because that Molly Miller, no, I uh, checked that uh, Sydney Urquhart laying out ball landed on her back, so. And the call on the two hit is really funny. <laughs> yeah, I guess technically it is. That is correct. It's a uh, good sequence there from the Lakers. Just the way they draw it up. Libero, pass to the setter, and then a hit over. Calling for substitution here. We're seeing Urquhart step out and Budgel. Coming back on. She played most of the first set, if not all of it. Yeah. Definitely one of the star players. Led the cheers coming out of the uh, the huddles as well, which is always something you can look out for. Going on the receive. Up by Fraser Cole. A little close, but not too close. And there's McElwain with a beautiful hit all the way to the back rank. And it may have been out of bounds, but it doesn't matter. The breakers will get their hands on it, unluckily for them. I was going to say, that was one of those 50-50 balls, and you never want to let it go and then not have it fall out of bounds, you're going to feel a little dumb for letting that go, but eh, if you can't get good hands on it, it's a little tough as Coach Ashlyn Parker calling out some adjustments for her squad as Lakers starting to pull away on this one as well. They lead 10-5. to 11-5 now. Nestruck, third serve now. Two back-to-back -back successful, not being able to bring, Breakers not being able to bring it back over. All three of the Lakers senior players out there right now in Nesterak, McIlwain, and Peasy, although I think we're going to have yep, McMillan, the Libero, swap in for Nesterak. I don't think the Lakers had a Libero last season. I cannot remember. Almost I, uh, all the way up in the skybox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could have played that. I know a couple of years ago, Haley Messer used to play a Libero, but... Last year, she wasn't at the school because she would have graduated, and Cadence wasn't here either. It would have been in grade 8 even if she had been, so I think the Lakers went without last year. Nice set there, and Peasy with the hit. And a campfire ball. Marshmallow's out, and they're burning. And that's a tough break as uh, Coach Parker really reminding her girls they got to communicate there. That was a playable ball from Damon in. They will be brought over by Cook. McWay on the receive. Fraser Cole and Peasy with a hit, and that's all the way to the back. Great kill from Ellen Peasy. We're not experts in stats. I'm doing my best here to kind of improvise it, but if my calculations are correct, Peasy, the third player for the Lakers, recording a kill so far this evening. Nice, good serve. The Lakers definitely running away with this set. A little bit different than what we saw at the start of this game. McIlwain, grade 12 player. Serve will be a little astray. 
Did make it over the net, though. But it will be out of bounds. We'll be seeing Doucette. Our first server we saw from the Breakers tonight. In the net. Breakers lucky to dodge a bullet there. That goes low. Bernard up to serve. Very good server. And it will be over. And it will be a point going Lakers. Only a little bit of a touch there from Cook. Man. Can't say I'm an expert in senior girls volleyball this year, but we haven't seen too, too many games. But I would, if I had to guess, I would say the Lakers are a very strong serving team. Pretty much everyone, every girl on the court there has a strong serve, except, of course, Cadence, who isn't allowed to when she's wearing that black jersey. But all the girls who are eligible servers have are, are capable of bullets, and uh, some of them, Peasy, Fraser Cole especially, just so consistent hitting that ball, which really surprised me with Lauren Peasy's first misfire in the beginning of the first set. But I think it just took a bit of time to get warmed just up. Just had to... Reset the system there and then go exactly. on a 20 after point that, serving streak. Yeah. After that uh, that long period of warm up, Lakers are really hitting their spot, stride as they doubled up the Graham and Ann Breakers. Now a timeout called. Yeah, that's uh, Coaches Parker and Toll again. I, I imagine Coach Parker is uh, telling the girls to really make sure they're communicating. That was the reason they lost a few of those points. There is a serving mismatch as well. Um, Bri Brianna Doucette has a strong serve on the Breakers' side, but apart from her, I think the Lakers are the much stronger serving team, and that can be a big difference. And ready to go up against, go again. And here's Bernard up to serve, and we'll clear it perfectly. Bug Joel on the receive. A couple hits. It will be brought over, though, on the receive by Cadence. Peasy with a nice hit. Oh, that's out of bounds there. And good play in the back row on the initial reception. I think it was Chloe Budgel backing up, was ready to bump it, but had to adjust right at the last minute to volley. The angle of the ball was coming in poorly. Still managed to get it over to a teammate, and the breakers were able to send the ball back. So good on-the-fly adjustment from, I believe, the breakers captain, number three. Swanson. With a serve, and Fraser Cole's going to put that one max power right in the net. Yeah. Yeah, mistimed a little bit, so breakers with a bit of momentum coming out of the timeout. We'll see if they can build on it some more. Swenson serves over once again, received by Peasy. Fraser Cole on the set. Here's Demerchant. This one <laughs> the net will be in the way again, but it won't be an enemy. Just it will be a teammate. powering that over kind of rolled the top of the net and spun for a while before ultimately falling down on the breaker's side. Catching the top of the net can sometimes be a bad move, but if you hit it with enough power, you can basically just will it over, and that's kind of what Riley DeMerchant did there. Another deadly serve by Peasy. It's up by Cook. There's Miller. Hit over by Griffin. It's out of bounds, but good hit nonetheless. Good call. Lakers are running to play that. No, a couple of voices. Not sure who called that out of bounds, but... Whoever it was, that was the right call to make. Peasy's serve. Ready to go once again. They have an eight-point lead now. And down to seven. As Breakers get the ball back. Breakers still in the driver's seat, but plenty of time to come back. Well, maybe not plenty. There is time to come back for Graham and Ann. They're going to want to be quick. Unfortunate for the Breakers. The Lakers somehow make that one work with Matty Fisher Cole getting a tip that would have been out of bounds. But a unfortunate touch for there by the Breakers will result in the Lakers up to serve here. Fraser Cole serve. Very deadly. Nice receive by Cook, though. It's up by Miller. One more hit. And it'll be bumped over by Griffin. Nestruck on the receive there. Fraser Cole on the set. And McElwain. We saw them practicing that one in, pre in the, in the warm-up. And the, I think one more hit would have been able to actually been done there by... Uh, yeah. By Griffin, but... But just kind of directed into the net there, unfortunately, from the Graham and Ann squad, so... Nothing going there. Another good point there for the Lakers. And that's just pure power from Maddie Fraser Cole. <laughs> Picking the back of her teammate's head there. <laughs> Now that's unfortunate. Yeah, looking like your favorite hockey player, Jack Hughes, just snipe in the corner, except it's the bottom of the net. 
At least it didn't hit the net. <laughs> yeah. Griffin serve will be over. Received by Macklin. There's Fraser Cole and Demerchant. Yeah! And there you go. Obviously. No says, uh, <laughs> Fraser Cole sets up Demerchant nicely. Her third kill of this set. One way to make up for it that right there. <laughs> yeah. Nice set. Fixes all problems in volleyball. And now Lakers with a 10-point lead. They are serving. One more hit here, and it will be brought over. That's Cook. Fraser Cole on the set here. Bernard going to hit it. Aim for that back corner, and she's just going to keep on sending it over. I don't think that technically qualifies as a block, but it almost feels like it. Bernard just jumping right up at that net, sending it directly down. Penultimate point for the Green game Green. here. And there's the merchant serve received by Griffin. Miller hit over by Doucette. That was a nice hit there, and it will result in the breakers getting a point. So 13 to 23 now. Screaming in still has some life, but it's uh, basically backs up against the wall. Molly Miller up to serve. It's over. Received by Nestruck. Fraser Cole on the set. There's McElwain. McElwain's hit will reach the net. And not really a lot of power because of how close that ball was to the net, so no chance to roll it over. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough, tough placement there, and if the timing isn't perfect, a ball there can be tough. Now, set point is where we find ourselves, or game point, rather. Game point, yep. Lakers win here. They've taken two sets. They will have the victory, and I imagine we'll go right into warm-ups against Sir James Dunn Academy. Received by Griffin, and that will be game. So Lakers are in their set this time. Score of 25-14 to 14 against Graham and Ann. So they take both in relatively convincing fashion. And we'll have the handshakes now. Now, uh, the difference between the first and second set I'm seeing here. First set, Graminan came out swinging. And mm -hmm. then it kind of came the Lakers game. And that made Graminan seem like a really strong team compared to the Lakers. But the second set, Lakers definitely took control. Even though the point differences between the two sets aren't that much different, Lakers definitely had control of the second set way more than the first set, I found. I would say I, I, would say I think you're exactly right there, Kevin. Really, it was just a tale of... Uh, of, of two halves of the first set as the Lakers really took a lot longer to find their way. And I wonder if it had been the Lakers who basically, I don't know if it's a coin toss or had been chosen to serve first, if that might have been different. Because Graham and Ann with their strongest server, number 12, Brianna Doucette, they were able to get on a good roll and Graham and Ann roared out to a 5, 6 nothing, I think 5 nothing lead. Um, and that really kind of put the Lakers on their back foot. Didn't find their way until a few more minutes into the set. But once they did and they got rolling, Lakers really showed they were a strong, strong squad. All right, don't go too far, folks. We got Sir James Dunn Academy playing the Breakers that you just saw, and that will be up in a little bit. Before we go, we'll give a quick shout-out again to our sponsors. Big thanks to Scott Pierce at REMAX East Coast Elite Realty and the Little Village Vacation Resort for Dogs. Our sponsors help us to improve the viewing experience and get more students involved in the streams. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor, please don't hesitate to reach out. My contact information is in the video description. Before we go, big thanks to the folks working behind the scenes. Referee Al Barrio for showing up to do the game, and Carly Good and Hudson Mason for helping him out from the Don Fletcher minor officiating table. Up here we had Tony Kramer pointing your eyes in the right direction with the camera. Austin Jameson pulling double duty on both the scoreboard and the console. And big thanks to you as well, Kevin, for providing commentary. All right, folks, we'll see you very shortly.